Hello everybody, I am back to make a quick video, a video I didn't plan on making previously, uh, however I have become infinitely drawn in to the new Halo game, Halo Infinite. I have The, the trailer just popped up uh, last night for me uh, in the UK and I am really surprised by it. I, I didn't go in with very big expectations. I was a huge Halo fan right up until the, the release of Halo 4, which completely killed the franchise for me. I've just come back into it now with the re-release of the Master Chief Collection on PC. Been playing that a, a huge amount, completed Halo 3 on Legendary, half of Halo Reach and uh, some of Halo 1, uh, as well as playing a lot of the multiplayer on Steam. Uh, and I, I really am reinvigorated with the franchise. I'm not really interested in 4 or 5 still, um, but looking at Halo Infinite and the new gameplay that has been released, I'm very excited for this holiday season. Uh, to talk over some of the footage that we have seen, and you've got to bear in mind that we have only seen a small clip of some outdoors gameplay uh, specifically shown here um, so there is a lot more that they are going to need to show us and also there are a lot of comments and criticisms of the art style that's been used and the graphics specifically and you have to take that with a grain of salt this is probably an alpha or a better stage um, so this is not final uh, how it's going to look so I'm really not worried about the graphics and the textures um, there is a little bit of pop-up or pop-in rather that I, I am a bit concerned about because that will likely stay in the final build but even that could be rectified uh, and doesn't actually impact gameplay anyway it's, it's way out in the distance a couple of times uh, having said that the art style and the visuals themselves in terms of the colors and the pop and the the um, some of the effects that the the way that the grunts explode I actually really enjoy that and I hope they don't change the art style too much just improve textures and lighting shadows um, the gameplay itself took me a while to get into I've never watched a trailer more than once or twice at a push but this one I've, I've literally watched 10 times now in the last 24 hours that it's been out and I am really impressed the more I watch it the more I enjoy it um, it does feel like back to basics halo just been modernized with a few additional uh, benefits the grappling hook is a big uh, issue for a lot of people and i was very skeptical having watched it now in this trailer I, i'm not too worried about it it looks like it's going to actually make gameplay a lot more fun and you can be a lot more creative with it especially as you can now take those um, cores uh, fusion cores grapple onto one of those pull it into you throw it at the enemy explode it um, you can jump onto the enemy uh, and obviously you can use it tra to traverse uh, the the landscape as well the only downside to that is I don't know how it's going to be in implemented into the multiplayer that that is the real concern I like it for the single player and the campaign just got to be careful in multiplayer it can really change things um, more of the gameplay though is is the guns um, and, and the actual firefights do feel very much like Halo. It is watching the AI move, taking your shots when you can, dodging bullets, uh, throwing grenades, uh, using your, your scenery to, to shield yourself and I, I like it all. The, the guns themselves uh, are not the most creative it does look like they've kept the core of, of what halo guns have become and not very happy with the way the pistol looks legendary gun for halo i, I don't like the design of that however when it fires it sounds good and um, you can still pull off those cool headshots uh, the rest of the guns are, I, i'm gonna wait until i see a bit more gameplay from them i like the assault rifle uh, I like the, the little bit of the burst they are that we've seen as well. That looks good. Um, but I, I, the, the best thing about replaying Halo 3 on Legendary has been that every gun is a viable option to take down the enemy. And they really, really need to do that with Halo Infinite. I don't want to spend hours through the campaign with just two or three guns. Every gun needs to be viable. Uh, and, and that's only something we, we're going to have to wait to see. Um, furthermore, on this gameplay, sound effects, I, I watched uh, originally uh, when the first trailer dropped, 
um, just on, on my phone and then on the laptop and I was just using the normal speakers and I was really worried that the, the sounds didn't really pop. The guns sounded wet and uh, the, the voices didn't sound very rich or deep. Uh, having said that, I've just watched the trailer again back to back three times and with my headphones on and the, the, the sound effects are actually fantastic. I love the way the guns do sound. There is a light spark and a pop to them. The grenades sound like traditional Halo grenades. The shields recharging sounds like Halo uh, and the voices all, all come through clean and clear and deep. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, the only downside to this gameplay that we have seen, I don't like the honeycomb effect when your f shields are fully recharged. You get this weird honeycomb pop around the outside of the screen which is a bit, bit jarring and, and takes you away a bit, uh, covers up some of your sight as well. Um, but I have also noticed that that doesn't happen every time the shields were recharged so I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with that. But other than that, from the gameplay standpoint, I, I can't pick any real faults with it. Something else that I wanted to bring up is uh, the, uh, quite a big negative here. If you take away the, the ins and outs gameplay of it and stand back and just watch it for, for what it is, a cinematic trailer, this, this may not uh, come across as a big deal. But when you look at this as a, a piece of gameplay clipped out of... Um, out of possibly your your walkthrough or your your run of this game, the game doesn't have a lot of music coming through at the right times. There needs to be phased music in when you're getting into battles, when you're going through certain sections. And there is a little bit of that, but a lot of this, uh, especially early in the trailer, it just feels like you're kind of wandering around, going to the next bullet point to to take something down. And there's not really much atmosphere and and if you you know halo the, especially the the first uh, handful of games atmosphere is essentially what it was built on you're going through dark tunnels you're having this um cinematic atmospheric pumping orchestraic music that, that almost gives you chills as you're as you're going along fighting the 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 enemy and and this trailer really needs to to show us that which it didn't. So we, we need to see more of that uh, coming up over the next couple of months. And, and that can all be improved upon. I'm sure they haven't uh, implemented a, a final score for, for the game yet. And and I'm really keen that they, they hit that on the head because an open world game is, is uh, very hard to hit the atmosphere right, especially as you're getting into little mini battles here, there and everywhere on your way to the objective. You really need that that orchestrator to kick in and give you that music. Something just to add on to this is maybe a, a, a wish list or a hope um, for this massive open world. Uh, a lot of it looks like it's gonna be outside. I am really keen to see some of the interiors and see how they change and hopefully they're gonna be a bit more gritty. But a wish, wish list uh, item for me would be weather effects. I don't know if this is gonna be on a day night cycle. I doubt it, but I, I really hope that as we uh, embark on different missions or, or, or different um, side quests that, that we hit some nighttime uh, and some, some rain, some snow perhaps on different parts of the map, really need to see some weathering effects. Uh, again, Halo is all about the atmosphere, as I've said before, and, and weather will be a big part of that. Um, but otherwise, uh, I'm quite open to seeing what else they can bring forward. Something else to mention maybe is is the the blood uh, or lack of blood. There is some definitely some blood splatters here or there, and I do imagine this is going to be an M-rated game. However, it's really lacking in it. It took me a few watch-throughs of this trailer before I actually saw any blood uh, or gore. Um, it, it's really very minor, and that's something that I guess they they possibly turn up as we um, move forward in these trailers and, and get to release, but is a bit of a worry there. I, I think the last couple of games that 343 have done have been uh, lacking in blood uh, and, and that is something that Bungie did very well. It wasn't over uh, and too much, it wasn't abundant, but in certain areas um, the, the blood splatter and, and effects were, were pretty spot on for again adding to that atmosphere. Uh, you've got to also bear in mind that this is playing on, on normal settings 
Um, so the AI is going to be much more improved and it's going to be a, a, a lot more challenging when you jump up to, to legendary difficulty. Other downsides though, away from the gameplay, I don't like the look of the map, it does worry me, it does seem very um, non-functional and also it, it really scopes that this is an open world game, there's going to be a lot of different missions and side missions which really isn't what Halo's ever been about. Um, you can think of ODST being more open world, but that still you, you cut into specific missions. And maybe they're doing something similar with this, but at the moment it feels like your traditional go anywhere, do anything um, gameplay, which I, I'm a little bit worried about for Halo. That's never really been their direction. And I know that this game's got to last now for the next, they say, decade um, with, with updates coming through to it so i'm very keen to see how they're going to implement that but it's a, still a slight concern at first uh and then the, the other concern that i have is the story mode itself the campaign i've i've not played all the way through four because it was awful and i haven't played five either so i don't really know where we are in the story um uh, having said that i i do love the lore of halo originally listen to a lot of the audiobooks um when the first few games came out and um, I'm a little bit lost with this new uh, cutscene that we, we've seen at the start and the end there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So it'll be interesting to see how they pull that through. Cortana was completely left off of this gameplay. Um, so she needs to be re-implemented. I understand she's now a bit of an enemy or the main enemy of, of Halo 5. So we're going to have to see how she comes through into this. But, but a lot is going to still need to be revealed to us. But overall, really pleased with this. Um, I don't understand all the criticism. The sprint, I know, is a big big bug uh, bear for, for a lot of people. And I, likewise, didn't enjoy sprint being in Halo 4. Uh, I enjoyed it in 5 because it was a, a trade-off of armor. Uh, and the sprint here actually doesn't really look that bad. I, I quite like it. It's an open world. You're going to need to traverse and, and get around. And the sprint, you're not supercharged running through people. It's just a tool to move a little bit faster. Uh, I quite enjoy it. I quite like the way it, it looks in this game. It doesn't look like it really impacts the traditional Halo gameplay. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. If you if you think I'm miles off here or if you're really upset. Um, and why you're so upset about the, 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 the visual style of it. Um, bearing in mind that this is just a, a pre-build. Um, let, let's wait until we see a bit more before we get upset about that. Anyway, thanks for, for listening to this ramble and uh, I'll catch you in another video.